my sister and I had one of our night talks last night. And a, uh, a night talk is a deep, meaningful conversation. And it's called a night talk because it tends to happen at night for some reason. It started out, she wanted me to uh, read her a selection assigned to her by her English class from the autobiography of Rolando Equino. And uh, we read and read, and finally when it was over, she was could hardly stay awake. And I asked her, uh, so what do you think of it? Do you have any evaluations? And she says, it was good. And I said, yeah. But uh, one thing I think he kept driving home was that slavery in Africa was comparatively much nicer than slavery by the whites. Uh, so this over and over again in many different ways it showed, tell, told, and uh, I got thinking, why is that so? Well, I think it was because uh, the white people were civilized. The white people had a complex division of labor. They had, they were, they were systematically enslaving these people, and because of the the mass, the massiveness of the system, because it's not one to one then uh, it becomes uncaring, just how large, how gigantic it is. Uh, similarly, I was, afterwards, she, she, I mean, she couldn't go on, she had to go to sleep. It was too late, she knew she had to wake up tomorrow to go to school. So why are these night talks always at night? I used to think, a lot of different things like the ideas would be coming up to the surface of the pool at night getting ready for dream time or maybe because there's no distractions or because it's more private because uh you know the deeper into the night it gets the more private it does get it's just two people nobody else is going to just walk in because they're asleep but i think why is a much more simple explanation we don't talk like that during the day because she isn't even here during the day. She wakes up at 6 o'clock every day, gets ready to go to school, goes to school, comes back at uh, 3.30, does her homework until 11 o'clock, and then she goes to sleep. That's why we don't have talks during the day, because first she isn't even in the same city, almost, and then when she gets here, she can't talk because she's doing her homework. And uh, this is the same reason I we, I have night talks with my dad because he wakes up at 5.30, he comes back at 4.30 or 5 o'clock and he eats and we always talk then and then he takes a nap until 7 o'clock and then he watches football and reality shows and game shows, the, the rest of the family watches those and uh, they definitely don't want me to talk during those so that's kind of a special event that happens on most days and uh, then my own thing, I'm, I, do my, I do most of my stuff uh, between the hours of 2 and 2, I guess. So, but in the evening I'm usually working on something like the cast. I'm fully awake. I've, I've had the chance to read for the entire day or play piano. or I've had the chance to do something for the entire day. And then uh, this is what I produce at the end of it. You know, you don't just wake up and make a video very much. But, you know, when it gets to be night, I come back up, I eat. I always eat between like 10 and 12 o'clock. And then we talk. But we don't talk that much because, I mean, you can't, you can't, you don't save up a conversation. You, if you wake up in the morning and it's 11 o'clock, you think, hmm. I gotta have this conversation with somebody. It's more dull because the inspiration was 13 hours ago or something. Civilization tears the family apart because my dad has to go to sleep. He has to because he knows he has to wake up at 5.30 the next morning and leave for the entire day. My sister has to go to sleep because she knows she has to wake up at 6 o'clock and be gone the entire day. She has to go to work. The uh, more increasingly specialized our jobs are, the more 
those those people with specialized jobs have to travel a longer distance or just all congregate into one single area called a, maybe an urban center or a city. It's unfortunate that the uh, it's a consequence of the complex division of labor. A simple division of labor would be uh, you know, more like a small town, less than that even. If, uh, all, if our labor consisted of doing housework, of doing subsistence agriculture, of maybe tutoring the kids next door, that would be a lot different existence. And the family would be much more familial instead of, you know, there's not even anybody home right now because they're all gone doing something that is required of them. 